So today for our young people's time, we're here at the Wickersham Farm. And so I'll let the Wickershams introduce themselves and we're gonna talk a little bit about Halloween and then actually we'll, we'll um, share in communion together. Awesome. I'm Chris, it's uh, my partner Katie, and two of my six kids, Olivia, who has a twin sister, Sarah, who's taking a test right now at school, and Lucas, my only boy. Um, the rest of them are at various stages of school right now. Uh, some are in person school, some are on their laptops in the house. Uh, this is our farm. Um, it's a working uh, farm. We have dairy goats and wool sheep. Uh, we've actually brought one of our sheep to church before, uh, mm -hmm. and that was uh, pretty fun. Um, we raise chickens and ducks and uh, sell eggs and uh, milk only for animal consumption. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so we have we have land and uh, keep the animals here on site, um, and that's that's pretty much our deal. And you make cheese. We do make cheese, goat cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I've had some of your goat cheese. It's fantastic. Do you like goat cheese? No. Really? <laughs> no. Katie, do you like the goat I cheese do. that he makes? Do. do you make it or just Chris? He does. He does. That's all okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Because Chris has a lot of toys here. <laughs> A lot of toys. It right? gets really lonely out here. Yeah, it gets know. really lonely out here. I didn't even know goat cheese was a thing. You didn't know goat cheese was a thing? No. So where does cheese come from then? Well, you make it. Yeah? You make it out of what? Do you know what animal it comes from or what you make it out of? Milk. You can make it out of milk. Yep. Well, and goat milk. Cheese. I don't really know what else is in goat cheese. Yeah. So you make it out of goat milk or you make it out of cow milk or you can make it out of almond milk. Or soy milk? Is, is milk soy a milk? That's weird. Isn't it? It's all very strange. Almond cheese. Well, thank you for inviting us to your farm. Yeah, and I just want to ask if, yeah, well, we had a gathering here, didn't we? We did. We had yeah. a church picnic. Yeah, we had a church picnic out here. My back still remembers getting ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to talk a little bit about Halloween, because Halloween was yesterday. Um, did you go trick-or-treating? No. No. We, no. We, we had to stay inside. Right. Had to stay inside because of the pandemic and because of COVID. We have to stay safe. So. Yep, have to stay safe. So you just kind of have to celebrate together as a family, right? Yeah. You just scared each other. You scare each other. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite thing about Halloween? Well, usually it's the candy, but this year, I guess it's just spending time with my family, being able to, and because. Halloween usually is about the candy mainly. This, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna have some candy this year, at least? Yes. yes. Yeah. We're obviously gonna have candy. We're what? Obviously gonna have candy. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about about Halloween, Lucas? Uh, it's, it's always candy. It's always candy. <laughs> Lucas has a sweet tooth. He's waiting for it to fall out. It's always candy. Well, that is weird because I think we always think about Halloween as candy mm -hmm. and going trick or treating. Mm -hmm. um, it's also. <clears throat> kind of in the time of the church, it's called All Saints Day. And it reminds us that like Sarah and Lucas, you're saints, Katie's a saint, Chris is a saint, our camera woman is a saint, um, that we're all kind of saints, right? We're all beautiful creations of God. And it reminds us to think about those who have lived before us. Um, I'm sure, I know you have grandmas and grandpas, but you probably have some great grandmas and grandpas that have passed away, right? Or family members that have passed away and it reminds us to think about them. That's kind of the original thought behind Halloween or All Saints. And that's why people dress up like ghosts because it reminds us of the people that have passed away that aren't with us anymore, right? And so we have an ofrenda set up at church um, and on that ofrenda, which is kind of a, a tradition from Mexico, you put pictures and you put items of people that you've lost like or that photo, have passed remember? away, yeah, yeah. Like I put a picture of my dog on there, other people put pictures of their family members, their aunts and uncles and grandmothers and grandfathers or friends. And so that's kind of what, um, what Halloween and All Saints Day is really, really about. And I think it's a great time to just have fun, you know, uh, wear masks to kind of be maybe something you're not. Um, and now we're all wearing masks, right? Yeah. Um, but in a different way. So it kind of hides who we are. So anything else? Why do you like living here on the farm, Sarah and Lucas? Olivia. Olivia. Oh, <laughs> Olivia. She's a twin. She's used to it. <laughs> Olivia, I'm sorry. Um, well, I like being able to have to like have animal, 
Well, it also gives us something to do with the COVID, like always being able to. We've stayed busy, haven't we? Yes, <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Um, and it also saves us money with the eggs and we'll, the milk too. Well, we can't. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you get that's... to kind of run around wild too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot of traffic out here. We don't really usually do that because we're lazy. We're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> well, and that would be the beautiful thing living out here, right? You get to run around, you get to be outside. Sometimes if you live in the city, you don't have the space, you don't have the animals, you don't have all the great kind of toys to play with, the hay, hay bales and all that stuff, right? So I think, yeah, no pickaxe, right. <laughs> I know, this looks dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's, it's, just, it's just a more dangerous golfing course, baby. Or a more dangerous golf club. club. Yeah. yeah, that's a more dangerous <laughs> golf club. You have a great attitude there about things. I love that. Well, thank you for letting us be here um, today, and then we're going to share together in communion. So, okay? Thank Sounds you. Good. Thanks, Pastor James.